What's up, fellas? Just posted to make sure the guys and team show up. Sorry about the dead air. All right, let's kick it off. We have uh, three games tonight. UConn, Arkansas, both have users. Uh, North Carolina has CJ Arnold, but he hasn't really been active, so we'll see if he shows up. And then Purdue has the Smith brothers. They're both in school, so I'm not sure if they're still up there or not. We'll see how that goes. I don't even know, really. Um, yeah, so we'll start first with uh, UConn, Arkansas. Wow. UConn lost four in a row, four in a row, and Arkansas won four in a row. Arkansas has a good start, six and one. That's pretty good. Ninety-one points a game. UConn has three users though. Arkansas only has one, so UConn should pull this off. If AI can play like the last game, we'll have a good game. We'll see though. I'll do a uh, half sim. We'll jump in third quarter. Since we got three games tonight. Gunner's user for Arkansas. He is 10, 3, and 1 in steal, 1 block. Not too bad. 2 for 4 three pointers, too. Hodge, the big man. 12, 1, 1, 1, 2. 2 blocks, and good. Or ain't bad. AI only got 4 points. Uh, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, so. Like, there's only half so far. But 3 points, 1 and 1, 1. Across the board. No fouls for him. That's good. All right, I'm going to jump in the game. I'll see you guys in a minute. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm going to be um, in and out of the chat. Uh, tomorrow is my twin's birthday part, my, my twin's birthday. So we set stuff up at night. I can do the presents and set the gifts up and balloons, all that good stuff. So I'll be able to TV on and the, and the stream on. But if, if if I miss you guys, like, check it in your SGBA box or doing the redemption stuff, just shoot, shoot me a DM with the picture. I might, I might miss it. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Reasonably well, 45%. Hey, Special K, in your playing days, you were such a strong defender. Who was the toughest player you had to guard? Hey, I appreciate the love, partner, but strong defender attached to my name back in the day would not mix well, if we're talking truth. But I will tell you, the hardest guy I had to deal with was Bernard King. He gave me fits. He was relentless in his pursuit of the pumpkin. They ran a bunch of stuff for him when he was playing for the Knicks, and that dude could put it in the basket. And for the Huskies, here's Hodge. 11 feet out, and he hits it. He's got 14. Being at 51%, really solid. And for the Huskies, He's at the pick. Here's Elson. The three-pointer, no good. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. The three bangs home the trifecta. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Pointer. Huskies with the rebound. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing. Really keeping things simple. Fades away. Miss number four for him from the floor. Seven for 11 field goal attempts. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to that. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. 
Hey guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Passes to Carlin. Six to shoot. Here's Robinson with the drive. And he banks in the layup. Robinson's got seven points in the game. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Right wing. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. The pass to Bremer. A three ball. A three-pointer is right on target. Bremer's got his third bucket of the night. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Outside for Robinson. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Fires from deep. That's good. He's five for nine. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last ten points have all come off assist. Pass to Carlin. From past the arc. And the Huskies hit again from deep. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Here's Elson. Ten points for him. Takes the three. Huskies with the rebound. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Nichols passes to Carlin. Off target with the open look. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Pass to Bremer. From 11 feet away. No, it doesn't go. His fourth miss in eight attempts. Fires the three. Bremer grabs the board. Bremer's got his fifth rebound in this one. In terms of finishing ability, it, it's hard to think of someone who tops Kyrie here. Greg, the list is short, particularly when you talk about guys of his size, okay? His bag of tricks is limitless when you talk about finishing in close quarters against bigger guys. There are a few that are in his class in that regard. On the free throw, no good. The Huskies have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. And the shot goes down. He has five. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. Here's Bremer. And that's good off the glass that time. Bremer's got five points now in the quarter. Here's Hodge. Gets a very good look and converts. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Passes it to Elson. the rebound and, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard that's where the lead has been built and that's why they are in control simply controlling the glass i mean plus 10 is the advantage in rebounds right now and while we've got a moment let's send it over to our terrific reporter david Alden. david 
Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body, the angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. And the first one at the line is good. goes in two from the line that time gone seven of twelve from the floor since coming out of the break let's it go with the three connects from three-point range he's got 13 and at the offensive end he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today Nichols passes to Castro fades Almost, but it rolls out. Gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. To the wing, right side. Over to the wing. The pass to Bremer. Just five on the clock. Over to the left wing. From outside the arc, it's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give. Nichols passes to Robinson. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Robinson's got 10 points. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. And their lasers are starting to do their thing. I mean, that's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second personal foul. Oh, the, the officials foul. are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. First one falls for him. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. There's a screen. That three off the mark. And they hold a huge advantage on the back door. That's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the way. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen. Hey, guys, point of emphasis for the lead is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. One forty-one left here in the third quarter. Again, the miss by the Husky. The scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Here's Elson. 12 points for him. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots. He made seven of them. Shots are just flowing him right now, having a really good Both teams will make substitutions. Let's take this chance now to break out the list of the league's leading teams in the steals department. You can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket, and, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. There's a minute left to play in the third. Robinson, that's good. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. And so far, very efficient all around, about 55%. 
This one for three. The shot comes out. Doing it beautiful here in the third. 56% from the field. To the paint. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is nine for 13 so far. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to bat. Launches from deep. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Nine points in the game so far. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting them up. Love the mentality there. I tell you. I know I've never coached, but man, playing to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. And we've reached the end of the third. Up by nine. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. A chance now to hear Jason Kidd talking to his team moments ago. Understand something. Keep talking on the deep. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Pass to Bremer. Here's Marich. Oh, good with the triple. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. And for the Huskies, we've got Johnson, and it's Robinson in at the small forward. That is super efficient, getting in deep and then taking advantage. Pass to Graham. Over Johnson. It's hauled in by Stewart. That's one he knows he should have drained. Now Robinson. Over Brenner. Robinson misses. Being an outstanding 53% for the game. And there's the pass to Graham. Down low. Here's Brenner. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. And stolen by Graham. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Outside Robinson. It's on target from the high post. Robinson's got 12 points here in the second half. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Huskies with the rebound. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. And they call an illegal screen here. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Look at, look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to bend guys off and get those rebounds. There's Castro. Good on the shot. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. And it's the Huskies on the break. Outside, Robinson has the ball. And Johnson now top of the key. Six on the shot clock. Here's Robinson. Graham with the rebound. Graham's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Merrick. Johnson with the block. Down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. 
That should give them a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt here. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't Start. settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big time finish there. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, I was able to listen in on what Jason Kidd went over with his team. Now, he kept it simple in the huddle. He said, play smart. If we don't beat ourselves, we walk away with the win. Keep it simple, and we got this. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Pass to Bremer. Here's Elson. Let's yeah. it go from 14. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. That's their third straight make off an assist. Eighteen feet out. Not going to go that time. Gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Inside, here's Bremer, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's had. Looking to get back on track here. Another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. You've got to box out on the boards when you don't. That's what happens. Here's Elsa. This is it to Bremer. Five to shoot. Here's the three. He count it. And he's now eight and nine from the floor. They're giving him a little too much space out there. That's his third triple since halftime. Fires from 18. And right on target with the switch. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. Here's Elsa. They set the screen. Pass to Bremer. Here's Elson. The Trey. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. There's the three. Trains him from beyond the arc. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Marich, guarded by Robinson. Here's Marich. 
Bruins trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Huskies have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse for them. Pass to Bremer. A rare miss for him. The Huskies have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of 12. Kicks it to Robinson. Passes it to Nichols. Let's it go from deep. Runner grabs the board. Runner's got six rebounds in the game. Launches it three. Huskies with the rebound. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Now, here is Robinson. T right on him. Here's Nichols. No good from outside. Gone only 6 of 14 from the field of the fourth. Here's the tip drop. And it's blocked. There's the pass to Carlemagne. Out to the right wing. Robinson down low. Up and in Robinson. on the way. Can't ask for a better look when they needed it most, using his height advantage inside. Being at 51%, really so. Here's Elson. Right here. Trying to end the drought. Hits the three-point bomb. He's got 19. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Outside, Robinson. Pass to Carlin. Jacks up a three. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Robinson's got five assists in the game. And really, just when the fans were starting to get into this game, how about the silencer at the other end? for a potential game-saving three. Well, I tell you what, guys, one way or the other, some fantastic drama unfolding here. To the middle. It's tipped. Here's Elsa. Pass to Bremer. Rocket six. Buries it from three-point range. Runner's got 23 points. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let-up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. And not sure what you can do with a guy like that. With his handles, he can just take defenders to school. This is it to Elson. That's good spot. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Fifty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and slop your ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock again. There's 45 seconds left in the game. Now the pass to Robinson. Driving in. Money! Defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good. And it's a seven point game. And as long as they can keep doing that kind of work at the foul line, this lead will be safe. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. 
Here's Elsa. sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Kyrie. Much appreciated, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and... What's up, everybody? That was a good game. I was pulling for a UConn. I can't fake that. I wanted to win. Let's see how he did. Gunner's a user. Not bad first game. 20 points, 4 boards, 5 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. 50% from, from field goals and for 3 point. Good game for him for sure. There you go. Okay, gave 21 points, 1 rebound, 5 assists, 2 steals. 4 turnovers though, but still. 2 for 3 is behind the arc. Not bad. Hodge, 18-6. Iverson Jr. is typical quiet night. I don't know what we have to do for him to get him more points. I mean, 3 for 10 and over 2. You're taking the shots. You're not making them for some reason. I don't know why. Anything stand out here? Let me see. Uh, they both shot really good. Over 50% is really good shooting. No, not really stands out. I mean, no, just our, our crystal played better. That's all it was. All right, GG for sure. All right, that's it for today. Let me save it really quick. All right. Now we play uh, Christmas Eve. Look at that. December 24th, Christmas Eve. So SC and UNC. There's a rivalry, but not in this league because no one's on SC anymore. Let's see. I, if I had to guess, I'll say that South Carolina will be in LSU jerseys because it's UNC playing. Oh, look at that. Not too bad. I'll take that. So CJ Arnold is the user for UNC, the point guard. He's the only one they have on the team. Um, not the most active, though. So we'll see how that goes. If he pops or not, probably not, but we'll see. Check out the rankings and stats. Points per game is about the same. Uh, UNC at home is 2-1. and one. Not bad. On the road, SC is actually the worst team in the league. At 1-7, and seven, they are the 30th ranked team in the league. Uh, SC lost five in a row. UNC lost three in a row. So this might be a low-scoring game. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I, I only want to show the fourth quarter. That's all I'm going to show because Arnold's never here to watch himself play anyway. So, But I, I'll, I'll show the fourth quarter for sure. I always like rewarding guys that watch your team to have them get more playing time, yeah, at least a half. Let's see. Ten points, eight rebounds, three assists, one steal. Not too bad. All right, we'll jump in. Big lead. If it gets to become a 25-point lead, I'll send the rest. We'll see how that goes. Hey, I'll be Greg, back. You talked about it early in your playing day. He's blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure's real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. Oh, 
Both shots good from the strike. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. It's been a devastating night for them. Nothing has come easy, Grant. Nothing indeed. Even when they've tried to make adjustments, it just hasn't worked. To the middle. Here's Murphy. And the layup is good off the glass. Now that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Pass to Wolf. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Buries it from three. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. And here's Murphy. There's a the screen to the inside. It's hauled in by Wolf. Wolf's got six rebounds now in the game. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Six on the shot clock. Over to the left wing. Guarded by Russell. Pass to Higgins. Here's Wolf. And the three off target. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. It's rebounded by Higgins. Gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Guarded by Russell. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. It's just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Murphy's shot is good. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. The three. They get it back. Wolf. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Here's Hubbard. Foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. At the line for the away team. Murphy. Two shots. That free throw good from Murphy. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. After making the first, he goes one for two. Got three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. They set the pick. Down low. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Wolf's got 14 points now in the second half. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Pass to Morales. It's hauled in by Wolf. Wolf's got nine rebounds now. Here's Hagens. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Softly drops in the floater. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater... Boy, those sure are pretty. From outside the arc, 
Knocks down the long tail. Something sapped them of their energy defensively since halftime in the first half. Out there scrambling, running, hustling. Since then, not so much. Here's Morales. Pass to Dawkins. 17-foot shot on the way, and he hits the jumper. And he knows he can make this shot. I mean, clearly there's no indecision for him from there. There's something to be said about knowing yourself. It allows him to shoot and shoot comfortably, even with taller defenders out there. There's a screen. On Thursday, then on Thursday... Embry, he's checked in for Murphy. Got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. What an impressive performance for him tonight, particularly on the scoreboard. But understand, the team's unselfish play, the ball movement, the player movement, allowed him to convert consistently on the offensive end. Well, obviously, he doesn't like losing. They dropped three in a row coming into this one. He took it on himself and put a stop to that streak. Dawkins. Pass to Morales. Here's Bembry. Here's Dawkins. Fires in the triple. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Here's Dawkins. Five to shoot. And there's the screen. Inside. And he bangs it home with one hand. He does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. Here's Dawkins. With a nine-footer. And that one's long. Nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. And you talk to his coaching staff. One thing they like about Caleb Martin, the leadership. Well, it's amazing when a role player has a voice on a team. And that's what you get with Caleb. He's a great communicator on both ends of the floor. He knows his plays. He knows the opponent's plays. What a great glue guy. Shoot two. That one's off. Oh, 
Good on the second one. Here's Dawkins. Pass to Bembry. Out left to the wing. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Wolf. I don't know what happened there. That was an easy two points that he just threw away. To the paint. Here's Higgins. Shot clock at six. The ball goes to the away team. Into the lineup for your home team. Number two, Elliott. Number two. Gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Dawkins. Here's Morales. Drills it from deep. Morales has got 10 points in just the second half. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Two minutes remaining in the game. Marked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. The ball goes to the elite team. Gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Here's Dawkins. 149 left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Bembry. The nine-footers on the mark. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Higgins. His first shot coming late, and he drops that one in. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. Oh, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Here's Dawkins. On the wing, Bimbry. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. Bimbry's gotten four this quarter. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. A minute four left in the fourth. To the middle. Here's Higgins. The layup misses. And he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go. Even with the defense, not really a factor. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Shooting for the away team. Jenkins at the line for one. There's 49 seconds left in the game. Lays it up and banks it in. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going fully on display here. 19 seconds left to play in the fourth. Fires from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. And that about wraps it up for Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire team.
Sorry about that little blues from my kid's hallway. My bad. So UNC won. I was waiting for SC to win. They had one of the W over them. Uh, Arnold had them at 13, 9, and 3. A steal and 5 for 12 shooting. Not the best, but we'll see if he even sees the game or not. He usually doesn't. No one really killed it for SC. Wow, 3 for 11. Sure shoots a lot. 25% three-pointer. That'll make you lose there. 30% for USC, UNC. They bull shot horrible behind the arc. Not bad shoot overall, but not good uh, for three-pointers at all. Points to pay were even. Assists even. Nothing really. SC had a lead for seven points at one time. That's crazy. No, you... You're, 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 you're good, Mitchie. Whoever wants to just have it in the background, that's what I do sometimes, too. Like, right now, I'm, like I said, I'm getting the kids' birthday stuff together, so I have it on the background. I got my TV screen playing the game and my laptop on uh, Twitch right now, so that's fine. Numbers are numbers, man. That's all I care about right now. You guys are good. AC, Mitchie, Hodge, all those guys come and go all the time. You're good. All right, last Christmas Eve game. Um, do we do, we'll do half. The, I'm, I'm going to tag the Smith brothers, see if they're going to, I think they're actually brothers in real life too. If I'm, if I'm right, I think they are. Let me tag them, see if they're even going to come or not. If they're in the game, I, I'd, I'd see the whole game for them, or I'd, I'd watch the whole game for them. I'd play it. But I don't think they're going to watch the game anyways. Yeah, I, I don't see him on the uh, chat on the side. Someone's playing Metal, someone's playing Roblox. They're playing games. They're not watching their own gameplay. So they're going to get a half. They'll get a fourth quarter sim. Nah, when, you get, when you're supposed to be when you're playing here, when you're playing Roblox, that means you don't, you don't really give, give a shit in my mind. So I tried. They'll get fourth quarter up to that, let's submit that one. It is LSU playing, so I'm guessing one of the jerseys might be messed up. Let's see. It's usually when LSU's home, not away, but we'll see what happens here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, they're good. Sweet. Ranking, Purdue dropped the last game. LSU won his last game. Um, points scored, Purdue is a lot higher than them. They should win the game. Purdue's two and one at home. LSU on the road is two and three. Uh, let's see what happens here. Yo, Daz, are you one of the Smith brothers on uh, Purdue or no? If he is, I'll stop him at halftime. Watch the third. Okay. Do you want to watch the third and fourth quarter then? Second half? If you're staying, I'll, I'll, I'll stop at the half crime. Or half time, you can watch it. Okay. Okay. Jamari, 7 2 3 1. Not too bad. The, his brother, 3 5 and 2 and 1. So not bad overall. Not too bad shooting. Got a three-point in there, too. All right. We'll jump into play now. Down by nine. Or down by 11, actually. Purdue was just up, too. What the hell happened? Oh, let me make sure you're in first. Hold on. Yep, you guys are in. All right, I'll be back. with it and often players want to discuss calls with the officials but great what was your approach with those conversations with referees okay, well it, it depended on the conversation but at the end of the day you realize they've got a job to do just like you do and 
you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David O. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Trey Young has been talking smack from a young age. He said, if I was doing something nice, I wanted to let them know about it. Once he got to the NBA, Trey says, I was more of a fan of the guys I was going against. Once I got out of that mindset and started being competitive and talking a little trash, that's when everything clicked. Kevin? <laughs> David, not shy at all. Thank you. They've got Jackson. That's Eli in at the shooting guard. And on the floor for Nick Nurse as we get into the second half. Now, here is Smith. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Shot clock at six. And he gets it to go. One point in the game. Being at 50% in a decent group. Jawai, he's guarded by Kaminsky. Here's Jawai. Does not score for only the second time in seven shots this game. Smith outside. Fires the three. Hits it from three-point range. Smith's got six. Moving once again, he is one of the best shooters in the league. Here's Eli, covered by Smith. Pass to Giddy. A 19-foot shot. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got his sixth rebound on the night. To the paint. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Yeah, but they're three or four to start the second half. Here's Jawai. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is his first free throw of the game. He's putting together a solid year at the free throw line. 79% overall. Both shots good from the strike. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the strike. I hope I didn't jinx him. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Giddy. Gone one of three since starting the second half. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. to Jackson. Just two to shoot. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Smith outside. From deep. It's rebounded by Giddy. Giddy has got 11 rebounds in the game. Can't get it to fall. They timed up the layup Perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Here's Smith. Lays it up off the glass. Smith's got eight points. And then despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Here's Giddy. Nine points in the game so far. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Fires for three. That's not going to go. He's four for ten. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Talking about the prison veteran, Draymond Green, still such an important player in this game. Yeah, it's just because he's so unique. He doesn't look to score very often. His main focus continues to be on defense and his playmaking ability. He gets it in there. He's got seven. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there, the way he just went right over him with his height. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And it's Smith missing. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. And he was all alone on that one. Why fade away there? Just making the shot more difficult, if you have to ask me.
inside. And it's slammed in by Smith. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One foul in the first, though. Can he turn it up? Out to the right wing. Back to Smith. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Jawai, he's guarded by Kaminsky. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Not an easy finish in that kind of traffic. I don't care how close you are to the bucket. Smith outside. Six to shoot. Down low. Smith inside. Giddy defending. Nice shot by Smith. Stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. Giddy against Smith. Now here's Giddy. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to Eli. That's good, and so Giddy with the assist. Giddy's got four assists in the game. Smith outside. Smith for three. Rebounded by Jackson. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Now here's Giddy. And the pass to Elon. Jackson with the screen. Puts it up. The shot's good from Elon. Eli's got 15 points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Smith outside. Kicks to Kaminsky. Let's the three fly. Hands it from downtown. He's got 11. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Smith against Giddy. They set the pick. And it's been a tough game for him offensively. He hasn't had his best game, but they've gotten enough production elsewhere, so it hasn't really mattered. Pass to Kaminsky. Shoots the three. Drills it from outside. Kaminsky's got nine points now in just the second half. Consistency all game long. He's going to continue, I think, to have to take it over to get them back in the game. Giddy the pass to jump. Jackson with the screen to the middle. And Jackson throws it down. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Okay, let's just say it. This has been an ugly quarter for him. Not quite a break of mirror ugly, but it's getting there. Good work there as it goes. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 11 rebounds. 
Smith outside. He dishes it to Kaminsky. For three. Good on the three-point shot. 24 points for him. The defense a step slow. You can see the result. Being a show of 60% since the halftime break. Giddy against Smith. Passes it to Jackson. Beyond the arc. Sinks the triple. Eli's got 18 points in the game. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Smith for three. No good on the last second attempt there. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. They're up by 11. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? A lot of times, a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. In about 42% so far, Smith is out there with Smith. Then it's Kaminsky, and it's Manning in at the pivot, Manning the middle. Inside. Nice shot by Smith. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Smith against Giddy. To the inside. Here's Jawai. Rebounded by Kaminsky. That is a disaster. Honestly, I'm embarrassed for him. Smith outside from downtown. An offensive rebound. Smith the pass to Manning. Over Jackson. Manning with the bucket. And you see the ability to rise and fire from the range, even against that length. Hey, when you trust your shot like he does, it doesn't matter how much size you're giving up. He feels the mid-range in his territory. some time to check in from the sidelines. They got for us, D.A.? Hey, guys. During the last time out, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. We have to play like we're tied. They want their team to sustain that level of effort and see how it works out. Kevin? Thank you, David. Look, it is good. They are just killing them on the interior. Going two or three to the field to get the fourth quarter start. Smith against Giddy. There's the feed to Smith. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got four points now in the quarter. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Giddy, it's good from about 19 feet. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Pass to Smith. That shot misses. Being an outstanding 53% for the game. Jawai covered by Smith. Down low. It's stolen by Smith. Oh, and here comes Smith. All alone. It's good. Smith's got 10 points in just the second half way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. And those might be the easiest points of the month for him. There's a good screen. Teardrop shot. It's deflected. A 
Not a piece of it. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Jawai covered by Smith. Jackson with the screen. Off target from outside. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Smith with a screen on Giddy. Smith gets it to go on the assist by Smith. Smith's got his fourth assist in this one. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now oh, here's Giddy. Here's the pass to Jackson. Off the mark for the fourth time this game. He is 7 for 11 now. Pass to man. He kicks it to Smith. Smith right side. Rebounded by Eli. Eli's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. To the paint. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Number 11, one shot. Here's Kaminsky. <laughs> to the inside, to the left wing. Kaminsky is screen on Jackson. Back to Kaminsky. Here's Manning. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the bump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Here's Eli. Off on the layup. Gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Passed him in. Jackson comes over with the double. And the pass goes out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. Team ball. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Here's Giddy. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second team foul. Line for the away team. Giddy. Two shots. No good on the free throw. They can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Being 43% from the field. it loose one on one here here's Eli for the three it's rebounded by Manning and the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession and the D not really doing its job there a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint Giddy against Jones. Now here's Giddy. Defense right on him. And the three ball is good. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Pass to Manning. Inside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. First team foul. First team foul. On Sunday, and then on Thursday. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best, but if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run.
and that one falls for Jones. He makes both free throws. And the pedestrian, 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. Jawai, he's guarded by Kaminsky. The pass to Jawai. Here's Giddy. Cracks in the train. And that's back to back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off. A little bit. Gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. And Jones has it in the corner. Kicks it to Kaminsky. It's up a three. Knocks down the three ball. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Giddy. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? And so Steve Kerr decides to call a timeout. 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 Start it. And Checked in for Jones. That was your Breakers dance crew. Here is Smith, guarded close. Jackson comes over with the double. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Oh, fellas, that was vicious. Two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Here's Eli. Releases. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got rebound number eight now on the night. You know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drama. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Now, here is Smith. Into the lane. Can't connect from short range. Giddy, no one around him. Good on the triple. Giddy has got 10 points now, just in this quarter. He is scorching the D. Exploding offensively. Giddy against Smith. Two points. That one goes. The visitors with the ball. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Giddy against Smith. Here's the screen. Fires from the wing. And it's in there. Giddy's got 14 points now in the second half. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. A three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. He's got 20. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep letting it rain. Now, here is Smith. To the wing on the left. Launches it. It's rebounded by Giddy. And as long as he keeps missing from deep, the D will keep letting him fire away. He's just off from range right now. And the dunk by Jackson. And it's just competing, you know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Jackson comes over with the double. Pass to Smith. Down low, five on the clock. To stop the run. Nailed from three-point land. And that's one of his strengths, knocking down those long-range jump shots. Jackson, a screen on Smith. Here's Eli. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Three and they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, look, when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. Here's Smith. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. 
<laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. Now, Giddy. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And now New Balance presents your player of the game. All right. Well, Purdue tried. But now she's just too tough. Smith at 20. Jamari 23, 4, and 2. Not too bad. Brother Mari had 13, 8, 6. I mean, those aren't bad numbers, really, overall. Um, closer game than overall. There's the damn Oscar Giddy going off again. He's lead score every game. Not one bench player played. I hate that. That's a bullshit. That, that, that's why LSU won right there. Because LSU didn't sub anybody in. That's it's dumb. Fatigue on and rotation is off. Fatigue subs on and they still don't sub out. So I don't know. Hold on one second, guys. All right, sorry about that. All right, team comparison here. LSU shot better, too. Uh, points of pain, but the same. Second chance points, Purdue beat that. Bench points beat that. Well, they didn't play the bench players, that's why. Um, better defense than LSU with steals and blocks. I mean, Purdue had 11-point lead at one time. So, they had a chance. All right, that's the last game this week. We're now in week nine. Um, or I'm sorry, we're in week 10 now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Week 10 now, yep. So what I'll do is tonight, I'll take pics of everything. Um, standing, player of the week, all that stuff. Um, I'll post that. If not later tonight, most likely tomorrow morning. Since we won't have a morning stream tomorrow. Or I, I think I was going to do the uh, NBA stream tomorrow. I think in the morning time. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Either way, though, uh, I'll post updated week 10 stuff for college in Discord tonight or tomorrow. Like, so most likely be tomorrow morning, but we'll see. I might sneak it inside. I, I just, just want to do it too late. Like, I don't want to post, like, at 12 o'clock at night when no one sees it. I might just do it in the morning time. So that's it for tonight's stream. If, if anyone wants to see anything, let, let me know. Um, you know, player attributes or something. Like that. Actually, no, I'll do I'll do for right now. For since, since Jamari is here, he wanted me to change his... Um, his tendencies, but I can't do that. But I'll change his signature to uh, Kobe. That's what he wants. Which is sometimes you can do it, so sometimes you can't. Like it, sometimes it blocks it, you can't do that. Well, I don't know, tendencies, sorry. Signatures. Sometimes you can't do it, but I'll find out right now. If you could do one, you can usually do them all. Nope, I can't. Sorry. Smith, I can't do it. Won't let me. Maybe because of your build, that's why. I'm not sure. I'll give you Devin Booker for now, though. I'll see other things if I could do. Like if I could do uh, dunking or free throw layup, maybe. There's Kobe there. Nope. Can't do it there either. Nope. Not there either. Layup, career, Bryant. I can do Kobe right there. Kobe there. Kobe should be dunk available. I should really do that one. That one's pretty easy to do. There we go. That's about to do. That's all there is. Uh, post fade. He might be there. There we go. Maybe pro. There we go. Got your Kobe there. Dribble. No Bryant. I give Devin Booker. Sorry for the click in here, but I can't turn that off. Nope, I can't do it either. Yeah, a lot of these won't be able to change because it's either normal or pro, right? Yeah, basically normal, that's all that is. I'll do pro for those. Pro. 
those will make a difference anyways. Nope, can't do Prime 3 either. I'll keep it at uh, Curry. All right. That's the best I could do, man. Sorry. I couldn't do everything, Kobe, so I did the most I could. Actually, I'll, I'll check out your tendencies real quick, just so you see them, so you don't talk about. Um, you are a shot close is high. Um, I told people earlier, I know you're pretty new to the league. Um, above 60 is rare. I don't really go above 60 that much, so high 50s is actually pretty good for our league. Mid, your mid-range is 55. That's that's good, too. 356, so you, you're, you have good shooting right there. And your shooting is going to be 66 across the board for shot and, and touches. All users are. So you'll, you'll get the shots off. So that's good there. Let me see the, the dunking. 58, which is good for a guard. I mean, if you put as one of your two best attributes, dunking, you usually put it like in 64, 65. So that's 50. It's, pretty, it's good. See, 60 is pretty high for that kind of stuff. Most of you're going to have is all 50, 60. You'll see it right here. It is. So yeah, your actually player is good. He's, he's good. He's, he'll, he'll get better. You will. Like I said, you're better two weeks. You can't expect to take over the whole entire league in two weeks. Um, you can actually look at the top players really quick. So we have no one that's a 90, which I like that. No one's 90 yet. Hodge will probably get there. Same with Jethro. They're in every stream. Hodge is doing the Facebook stuff for me. He'll earn extra points this, uh, up this month coming up. Um, Jethro always chips in. He'll get stuff too. Gold is Mitchy. He's in every stream. Chambers in almost every stream. Hodge, same guy above. Um, AC's here all the time too. And the guys are here, if you look, they're still only mid early, mid or low 80s, but this is the first seven games they've played. They're that high already. I really didn't want anyone over 91, 92 after the first year. Um, I'm like I've told guys before, when you go pro, if you go pro the first year, second, third, fourth, whatever you want to do, when you go pro, you will you you will lose your overall points. So right now, let's say Hodge wants to go pro. He's a pretty good player. So I'd probably drop him to like an 84 for NBA, maybe 83. Um, someone like you, let's say, for example, that, where'd you go right here? Um, you end up being like an 81, and you want to go pro, Jamari. I'm dropping you to 78, 76 probably. AI bench players and non Users in NBA are at 75 overall. So you would start, but you're going to have to split, split some time. That's why I didn't want everyone to come to, end, to college league and then go pro. And then we have all of a sudden the college league is empty and 35 guys want to go pro. You would just realize you'll lose some overall points doing that. Not, not, it won't be a lot, but you'll, you'll, you'll lose some. So just, just keep, keep that in mind if you guys want to go pro. Otherwise, than that, we'll check out the standings real quick. I mean, since I'm here, I could take the picture of all this stuff. You know what? If, if you guys are here for the stream, we got time. I'm gonna start taking my take, take my picture, my screenshot to take now. Um, this just shows you what I have to do. I go through and I get my stuff for the league. So first thing I do is the standings. Yeah, sorry I can't have music on, guys, but Twitch will mute the entire stream. When it goes up on video demand, they'll, they'll mute it. So will uh, um, YouTube. If you have any music on there from 2K, they'll mute the whole entire stream. So it's not worth it for us to have music on. So sorry about that. Um, we'll do oops, jerseys. Come on. No one got it this week. Two AI guys. So won't give out any kind of uh, badges or anything. Um, what about box scores? 18 to 24.
I don't get bob scores of CPU CPU games. Because my Bob, I know, is going to look at them. I mean, this game here, Jamar, you had 19 points. That's not bad. I mean, you're not going to come out and score 25 a game anyways. You just started. And Texas Tech, how's you come there? And AI had a good game, too. So yeah, I can see real quick. Um, let me put the chip back in. Sorry, I was on my stream moment. See where the uh, what's I gonna do? Shit. Um, oh, that's right. I want to see LSU. The one giddy player. See what his tendencies are. So he goes off pretty much a lot in these games. Should have went the other way. There we go. Just to see what he is. I might not change, but. Nothing crazy shooting there. Yeah, you can drop a little bit. You should be that high. Usually CPU guys aren't that high. It's not too bad. See, why did he not? He should be 55 55. Why did he change? Hmm. Which is a couple other guys in here. They should all be 55 55 tendencies with shooting and touch. I changed them all. So I don't know why they don't do that. Yeah, see why? I went through a couple weeks ago and changed all these. 2K be tripping sometimes. Whoops. Shoot, who would I have? There I am. Yeah, see, that's why. They shouldn't be shooting that much. I mean, it's not that it's that big of a deal. The shoot's going to be dropped down 2-3 points. It's not that it was 80 or 90. But still, that should make it even for guys playing against them. User teams. Oh, you know why that happened? Because two weeks ago, when I deleted LSU completely to see if that would help with that glitch uniform thing, I re-uploaded LSU. I didn't change your tendency. That's why it happened. Nope, that was not me. My bad. So I wonder if it's coaching. That's why they're not doing the coaching either. Let's see. No, I don't want that. My bad. Where you at? Come on. Coach settings. Here we go. No, it's not fatigue still. So I don't know why they do this sometimes. That fatigue's on, so. Which player are you? CSA, I, I forgot. Like I said, I see so many guys coming and going here. Dude, I'm not going to lie. Do I have an Isaiah Jones in the league? What, what team are you on? Oh, oh, oh no, what, what, what team are you on? I don't remember making up when I say it, Jones. Oh, okay, Kansas. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, did you earn any points? Here, I'll check real quick. Yeah, you have zero. So um, what you can do, as soon as you did check in, I'll, I'll hook you up. I'll, I'll give you five points. Um, don't get mad, Mitchie, AC, and Jethro going off, and I gave him five points. You guys are good players as it is. This is for a new guy. Um, I'll, I'll get you five points, and what you do is when you go to Discord, for the future and now, go to SGBA-Bank. It's on the practice facility. 
channels there. Go to bank, type an exclamation point, B-A-L for balance, and then at your name. So you, or you actually, no, you have to put a name in because it's yourself. Just put an exclamation point balance, hit enter. It'll show you what your balance is. When you have a balance, you'll have five. Um, you could then go two below that channel. It says player attributes badge upgrade. And that channel you put in, you can see what other people have done. You put in what you want, like plus five to three-point shooting, plus two for speed, plus three for something else. And you put it that way. What I'll do right now to help you out is I'm going to go to Kansas and I'll show you what your stats are, what your attributes are, so you know what to do. Um, the cap is 85 per attribute. So what that means, I'll show you really quick. I'll find Kansas. There you go. Okay. Sir Jones. So the cap highest you can go is 85, unless the only catch is if you are a Patreon member, a Hall of Fame Patreon member like Hodge and a couple other guys, um, your cap goes to 82. So right now, 85 is the highest you can go for layup. You can go 13 points for standing dunk, 13 points there. If you made your, if you created your player and picked certain attributes, like you probably said when you create them, three-point shot, uh, 15 points or 13 points, I max as high as it can go. So those certain ones are maxed out already. Like here you get ball handling 15 or 85 already. Speed, you could, you could add five more to that if you want, but I'm going to give you five points. So what I'm going to do right now is you can do it after the stream is done or do it now. Um, screenshot what you have. So you know what your attributes are right now. I usually wait about three, four seconds. You can see what it is, screenshot it. If not, like I said, go back and watch the stream. It'll, it, it'll, be, a, it'll be open to watch in about five minutes, or five minutes after I close the stream. So look what you have here. So some guys like Jethro have, have a whole Excel program. I don't expect everyone to, to do that. Um, he's very good about that kind of stuff. Or at least write it down. Screenshot it and so, you, so, you, so you know what you have. You know you can't go higher in ball handling. Um, you can't go higher in speed. You can't go higher in, I think it was, was it Dunkin'? I think it was Max Auden. Those you can't go higher in unless you become a Patreon member. That's one of the perks of that. Uh, potential, every user player has 90 potential. That doesn't change. And every user starts with the 85 stamina. So everyone's aware as well, we have progressive or progressive attributes on, which means that your player will get better without spending any money or in, in any points. So right now you could be... Uh, 72 close next game you have 14 points and eight are inside that might go to 74 close so if you go back and look and you see that it's kind of raised or lower that's why it's not me changing it i have the pro the progressive element on which I, I do like that's also why you see all ai guys started nine starters started uh, at a 72 overall those might go up one or two points that's why that happens so that's all that is if you have any more questions just go and hit you could just always send me a message in dm or something did discord I'll, I'll i'll tell you what what's going on how to fix it or what you want to have done so actually I'll, I'll add it right now i'll add your points to your discord so you have it Let's give me one second but i always do giveaways almost every time for streams three points five points hall of fame badge gold badge if we get enough guys we have i think 19 guys one time i gave it a full overall point upgrade that means across the board, every one of your tributes went up one point, including your overall. So I do do that as well. There, now you have five, five points out of spend, and you're all set. All right. Um, pictures. Anything else? I don't think, I think I'm all done. I got box scores, standings, jerseys, stats. There's no player of the week. I think that's it. I'm good on screenshots and everything. The week's all set up. Um, next week, what I'll do, these I, I try to do two weeks in-game for one week in real life, but these next two weeks for college are crazy. We have 30 teams. I mean, I'm getting like 35 games a week at the sim. It, it, it's a lot. It is. Um, so 25 to 30 first. That's how many games there are. Ten so far. So 17 games right there. If I do six a night, that's still going to take me to the three game, three days of college. So and how many did I have between the first and the seventh? No, no, I didn't, I didn't save it. Thank God. <clears throat> um, let's see. It's three, four, five.
Wow. See, that fall week is almost 30 games. So between these two weeks, I have 50-some games. So I, I can't. For, for, for the next couple of weeks, it's going to be one week in game, one week in real life. I don't want to straight sim a lot of games. I want to at least give you a fourth quarter if I can. So that's why we do it that way. Let me exit before I don't save this. I fastened by accident. All right, let's go back real quick so I can show you. No. So yeah. So like I said, with, with us having 30 teams, I am going to break the teams on less next year, next season. Um, I don't want 30 teams. I tried 30 teams to see if we had enough, a bigger turnout we did, but a lot of the guys were just going inactive. They just joined and quit. So it was hard for me to do that. I wanted to have a nice spread of teams. 30 is just way too many because you, the amount of games you play is how many teams there are. So if we have 30 teams, you're playing 29 games. Times that by 30, I mean, you're looking at, that's, that's like 600 games we're playing in a season. That, that's a lot of games for me to, I mean, it's me simming 600 games and then add an NBA. If I do, if you look at the schedule we do, I post every, every week, multiple times of the week, on, in, in the announcements, um, this week alone, I'm doing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 NBA games and about 17 NCAA games. So almost 30 games I'm simming just this week. That's two weeks of NBA and one week of college. So once next week kicks in for NBA, we're in the playoffs. That will make a little bit of a difference, but still, I want to show more full, at least half game. What I'll probably do, I talked about this earlier too, with the NBA, with it being playoffs, um, I'll probably fast sim first half of games until we get to a deciding game. Then we'll watch the full game. If it's game six and it's you know three, if it's three to two, or if it's game seven, three to three, whatever the case is, I'll watch that. We'll stream that full game um, for, for the playoffs. The bad thing is though, there are eight matchups. So there's going to be eight games a day, or probably, so they played three times a week. So we're looking at probably 25 games a week for playoffs. So that's a lot. Um, and I think there's only three rounds because it's eight teams per side, four matchups, two matchups. Yeah. So it probably about, about probably about a month and a half, month in playoffs because I can't really sim too much. Now when we get to the, the conference finals, it's less games, less teams, so it's easier that way. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens like that. I don't just keep mumbling on. So anyways, as always, thanks for you guys for joining. Stopping by and just uh, checking us out and doing player check-ins and chat, and I appreciate that. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, no AM stream, just a PM stream, but it will be the wrap-up of Week 9 NCAA. I think there's – oh, no, that's today. I'm sorry. NBA is tomorrow. Um, I think I said I might I might do a day stream Thursday, not tomorrow. Because the way it works, like I said, um, I cut out one game yesterday for NBA. So we might do um, – Three games. Three, yeah. So what I could do is I'll, I'll do three games Wednesday night, NBA. Three games Thursday morning. And then three games Thursday night. And we'll be all wrapped up. I could do two games tomorrow, 11 a.m. But a lot a lot of guys don't get those streams. Um, either working, school, or whatever the case is. So we'll see what happens, though. If, if I do post games tomorrow, I'll give you about an hour heads up. By 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I'll tell you if I'm or not. What, I'm, I'm not sure right now. It's all up, up in the air. So, But anyways, have a good night. I'll see you guys uh, on, the, on the next stream. Have a good one.